happy day students so this is our uh, day 9 in ninth class in the last class we studied about standing weights some of the problems we discussed okay let's go further on the modes of uh, vibrations and strings okay in last class we discussed about some of the instruments which we uh, used to produce the standing weights like uh, guitar sitar and veena okay all those instruments are used to produce standing waves and we get different kind of sounds because of them so similar thing we are going to study today so in, when we talk about normal mode normal modes of vibration in string okay in string also we have two types of strings one is fixed at both ends Another one is fixed at one end. Okay, both we'll discuss. But first, I am starting with string fixed at both ends. Okay, so I am putting up the heading: string fixed at both ends. String fixed at both ends. Okay, and this is a string fixed here, fixed here. okay now what are the normal modes of vibration the normal mode if we say that fundamental mode a fundamental tone fundamental tone is if i am going to disturb it like this what will happen it will come down like this okay when i am going to leave it what will happen its reflected wave will come and it will be like this so its vibration mode is like this come down go here go up come down okay this way it's going to vibrate if we say that there is length of the string is l okay then i can say that this is a node and this is also a node and distance between two successive nodes is lambda by 2 so we can say lambda by 2 if it is equal to l okay we will say lambda by 2 equal to l or lambda equal to 2l okay now we have a relation which says frequency is equal to v by lambda okay v is what it's the velocity of wave okay which depends on t and mu so we write that also but in place of lambda i am writing 1 by 2 earth and in place of v you can write root over t by mu okay we can write root over t by mu so 1 by 2 root over t by mu this frequency is possible for this kind of a mode and this is called fundamental tone this is called fundamental tone okay now we are going to see the next one what can be the next one just see in the same type of string the same type of string which is fixed at two ends suppose here we are going to have a support support means is we want node here we already know that this is fixed and so node will be here also and here also so what kind of wave is getting generated over here what kind of standing wave it's like this then after reflection it will be like that okay so now we know that between two nodes lambda by 2 here also lambda by 2 and total length is l so what we can say lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 equal to l that means lambda equal to l okay the frequency v by lambda that means 1 by l root over t by mu i am not going into that we know that v is root over t by mu so it's v by l or i would write it as 2v by 2l okay now this is called second harmonic or first over tone okay the previous one what we said that what it was it was v by 2l okay so we said it is fundamental tone fundamental tone or you can call it as first harmonic also okay and this is the next one next one what we are calling second harmonic or first over tone okay this is zero over tone 
we are calling it as fundamental tone and this is first overall tone are you able to understand that same way we can go further also so let's see the next one what we can do here we can put two supports in the middle like this suppose we want support here also and we want a support here also now what will happen the wave will be like this and its reflected wave will be like that so what we can say here is node here is node here is node and here is also node this is lambda by 2 this is lambda by 2 and this is lambda by 2. that means 3 lambda by 2 equal to l so lambda equal to what 12 by 3 then frequency which is v by lambda so what we are getting 3v by 12 a 3v by 12 means third harmonic third harmonic and second overtone okay these are the terms that you need to remember third harmonic second overtone why third harmonic is three is coming so third harmonic second overtone means because first harmonic we consider as fundamental tone second harmonic we consider as first overtone so third harmonic we will be calling as second overtone likewise we can keep on moving it okay so first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic fourth harmonic fifth harmonic sixth harmonic all these are possible when two strings are rather two ends of a string are fixed okay are you getting it what are the frequencies v by 12 2v by 12 3v by 12 4v by 12 okay that means all multiples of v by 12 are possible e1 as well as r which case string fix that both ends now let us see string fix that uh, one end or one end of the string is free then then what happens now you can ask me that how it's possible to have standing wave on it how the reflection will be there from free end but if you remember that we have already studied how the string or rather the wave gets refracted or reflected rather from free end when we had a ring okay when we had this case okay then you got that if suppose the pulse is like this then the reflected wave pulse also will be there and it will be something like this and it will be coming in this way only okay amplitude will be same so these two also can interfere and give us standing wave so same thing we are going to see in this one when string is free at one end or string is fixed at one end okay so when string is fixed at one end okay something like this the cell is free and this is fixed then okay so if we are going to produce a pulse you put the pulse over here it goes over here reflects reflects from fixed then okay so what happens suppose you produce this wave it reflects and comes like this okay this is the minimum you can have so minimum means is this we can say is anti node and this we can say is node So what is the difference between distance between node and anti node? You know it's lambda by four. And if we say that length of the string is l only, then we know that lambda by four equal to l. That means lambda equal to four l. So frequency, frequency is v by lambda. That means v by four l. And again, v you can write as root over t by u. There is nothing wrong in that. But here in this particular thing, I am not writing it. So this is V by 4L. Again, what do you call this as? Fundamental tone. Fundamental tone for which string? Fixed at one end. Fundamental tone or first harmonic. What is it? V by 4L. In the previous case, what it was? V by 2L. Okay. Let's see further. What we can do in this one also, we can use the supports. Okay. Let's use the supports and see what's happening. the next tone so in that case we will have it like this okay there is a support over here so then what will happen 
something like this and something like this okay so anti node here node here and node here this is lambda by 2 this is lambda by 4 and total length is l as usual so lambda by 2 plus lambda by 4 is 3 lambda by 4 so 3 lambda by 4 equal to l so lambda equal to 4 l by 3 so frequency v by lambda which will come 3 v by 4 l 3 v by 4 l so that means here odd number did not come from 1 directly jump to 3 2 did not come so we call this as third harmony we call it as third harmonic and first over tone okay it's third harmonic and first over tone and in string fix at one end it is odd number multiple of v by 4l in the previous case they were multiple of v by 2l here it is multiple of v by 4l and this is called first over tone whereas in the previous case 2v by 2l was called as first over tone here 3v by 4l is called first over tone these things you need to remember very important questions are asked on this let's see the next one whether it's coming even or odd let's check for the next case if you see we use two supports one here and one here what's going to happen like this and like this so anti node 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 and node so that means this is lambda by 2 this is also lambda by 2 this is lambda by 4 lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 lambda lambda plus lambda by 4 5 lambda by 4 equal to l so lambda equal to 4 l by 5 frequency v by lambda that means 5 v by 4 l now you see again odd number thing. sorry one and this is called what fifth harmonic and second over tone okay so one thing is sure that when one end is fixed we are going to get only odd harmonics 1 3 5 7 9 okay that we need to remember and here also you need to remember that this overtone okay you can say one relation we can put five or uh, harmonic this is five so five we can say is and this is second harmonic uh, second overtone 2 into n plus 1. So, number of harmonics, number of harmonics equal to 2 into number of overtone plus 1. Okay, if you want to remember this relation, you can remember that. But otherwise, if you can remember in general also, that is fine. Okay, so these are the normal modes of strings of two types string fixed at both ends and string fixed at one end okay now let us discuss something more like uh, resonance now what the resonance is resonance suppose i have an instrument whose both ends are fixed okay now we have and source here which is going to produce the waves okay there is a source which is having certain frequency okay now if this frequency matches with any of the natural frequencies of this string what are the natural frequencies of this string you know v by 2 l 2 v by 2 l 3 v by 2 l 4 v by 2 l all these are natural frequencies of string so what will happen suppose i say that this is matching up with the fundamental form okay this frequency is same as fundamental tone of this string so in the first case it gives it a vibration okay it gives it a vibration this goes on incident wave comes reflected wave once incident wave get, goes like this reflected wave go, goes like this like this first first it's like this then straight 
then bend like this, now like this. So, this becomes one oscillation, one oscillation of this string. Then, when it is about to go down, immediately this is also giving it one more jerk, one more vibration. Are you able to understand? This frequency is matching up with the fundamental tone of the string. The fundamental tone means frequency of this one. Okay? The frequency means number of oscillations in one second. When we say frequency is matching, it means time period is also matching. That means cycle of both starts at the same time. Okay. What is one cycle over here? You give the disturbance like this, then it will go to mean position, the next stream. Okay. Then again it has to come back to mean position. Then you can say that one cycle is over. Alright. Extreme, mean, extreme, mean. So when it reaches the mean position, when it is about to start the second cycle, because when you have given energy to this stream, that energy will be there in the string only. Okay. So when the second oscillation is starting, immediately this source second oscillation also starting. Okay. So this second oscillation it disturbs the string again. Already it was having amplitude A. Again this source is going to disturb it with what amplitude A. So what will happen immediately? Its amplitude will double. Its amplitude will become 2A. Then it will oscillate with 2A amplitude. Once again, if its period completes, new cycle is about to start. This again give it one more jerk. So from 2A, its amplitude becomes 3A. Are you able to understand? So this way, amplitude keeps on increasing. That condition is called resonance. When the frequency of the source and the frequency of the instrument matches, then what happens? The condition of resonance happens. In resonance case, what will happen? The energy carried by wave keeps on increasing again and again. And what point of time it is possible that the string may break? This is a possibility. Okay? But this is the condition which we call as resonance. Okay? So, this is uh, the theory part of the standing waves. Now, we are going to solve numericals based on that. Okay?